Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you love this podcast, please give us a rating and review however you listen to us on Apple, on Spotify, whatever it is. The more positive rating and reviews we get, the more that these platforms show this podcast to other people who have never listened to it before. So if you would do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Today, we're gonna be talking about why I think the phrase new year, new you is BS. We're going to talk about who you need to be in 2023. Uh, you don't need to be a new you. In order to change your life, you don't need to be a new you. You just need to be a better you. You need to be a better version of who you have been. Now, I hesitate saying the word better in the first place because when you when you use the phrase better, it automatically means that who I am now is worse. So maybe not even better, maybe more expansive is what I mean when I say better. And so... What I want you to do is I want you to think of this. When you look back at 2022, what were your goals for 2022? What was your, your number one New Year's resolution for this year? Now that we're at the end of the year, what was your number one New Year's resolution for this year? What was your number one goal? And my question is, did you accomplish that goal? Think of, in your, you know, this is a rhetorical question, but I want you to answer to yourself in your head or if you're in your car out loud. Did you hit your number one goal for 2022? If the answer is no, which for most people, the answer is no, because most people give up, you know, four out of five people give up on their New Year's resolutions goals by February 1st. If you did not hit your number one goal for 2022, it's a really fucking big issue if you think about it. Because if we just went through every single year and accomplished our number one goal every single year, we would build an incredible life. But most people start and then they give up too soon. Because if nothing else, we should cross off our most important thing every single year, shouldn't we? And if you didn't accomplish it this year, if you didn't accomplish your number one goal for this year, what makes you think that next year is going to be any different? Because in order for you to create a different year, you need to change. You need to be a better version, not a, not a new you. You need to be a better you. You need to change. There's something inside of you physically as a person, mind, body, soul that needs to shift in order to create the life that you want to. You can't expect 2023 to be any better or any different than 2022 unless you're different. You know, Einstein says, and you've heard me say it before, you probably heard other people say it before. Einstein says to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results is the definition of insanity. And so if you're going into 2023, exactly the same way that you went in 2022 and you didn't hit your 2022 goals, what makes you think that you're going to hit your 2023 goals? Because listen, there's a pretty good chance that 2023 is going to be hard for a lot of people. And I don't want to scare you, but I want to prep you to make sure that you create the best year that you can. There's inflation, there's recession, there's housing bubbles that might be popping. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't predict the future, but these are all potential things that could happen in 2023, right? We can all agree on that. The inflation that's happening, the recession that we're going through, the housing bubble that could pop, all of these are potential things that could happen. And I was talking with Tony Robbins earlier this week, a few days ago, that podcast episode is going to be coming out sometime in January, but I was talking with Tony Robbins and he said in the podcast that our number one focus should be working on ourselves at all times. And I've always thought that our number one focus should always be working on ourselves and making sure that we become the better version of ourselves with everything that we do. When things are good, you should be working on yourself. When things are bad, you should be working on yourself. There should be no difference. Actually, maybe there is a little bit of a difference. That difference should be you should work on yourself harder when things are bad. Because when you build yourself every single day, when it's bad or when it's quote unquote hard, it's not that bad for you. You, can, you have built yourself into the person that can handle it. And so the way I like to think about it is, and as I was preparing this episode, I started thinking about like, okay, there's always storms in life, right? And there's always storms in the world. I grew up in Florida and Florida gets hit by hurricanes all of the time. And I've seen crazy things that have happened after a hurricane. I've seen houses destroyed. I've seen house, I've seen parts of houses in trees 30 feet up in the air in the middle of the interstate, like, like 30 feet up on top of a tree in the middle of the, the, uh, the median. I've seen crazy things happen. I've seen houses destroyed, all of these things because a hurricane came through and knocked them all over. Right now, houses today are made with wooden frames and that's why they've 
you know, when a hurricane hits them, they usually fall over. Now, if you look at that, you could also go to St. Augustine. St. Augustine has a fort that was built in the 1600s and it's a fort. And that's why I say it's built like a fort, a fort. Like I'm talking about this thing was built in the 1600s and I don't think any hurricane can knock this thing over. It was built with more intention and with more of the right materials than a house is in 2022. A hurricane comes and if you're in a hurricane and you have the option to be in a wooden frame house or a fort from the 1600s, which one would you want to be in? You'd want to be in a fort from the 1600s, right? Because it is built properly. It takes a lot longer to build a fort made out of concrete stone that was done by hand than it does for a wooden frame house, but it was built correctly. That's what we need to think about for ourselves. When we have a storm of life coming through, which 2023 could be a storm for a lot of people, we need to make sure that we are prepared and we build ourselves into being the right person because we don't know what the future is going to be. I don't know what the future is going to be, but I do want to make sure that no matter what, I'm building myself all of the time to be that person. So at some point in time, you've got to look in the mirror and you've got to say like, okay, this life that I have, is this what I want? Am I showing up the way that I want to? Am I accomplishing my goals? Am I treating people the way that I want to? Am I, am I ending up, you know, accomplishing these 2022 20, New Year's resolutions? Well, if I'm not, what's going to make everything different next year? You've got to look at yourself in the mirror. And if you look at what your life is and maybe your life is okay, maybe it's not, I don't know where your life is, but at some point you got to be like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this life. I'm done with not living up to my potential. I'm done with not stepping up and becoming the person that I know I can be. And it's got to start for you. And that's why January can be so good for so many people is because it is, it feels like a fresh start. You get past all of the, the, the Christmas and you get past the holidays and you get past the new years and you're like, okay. I don't have things for a little while. I can actually start to work on myself. And it's got to start in January. You've got to figure out what it is that you want. And when you figure out what it is that you want, make a plan to get it. And then do not give up because you've done that too many times. You have given up on yourself way too many times. How different would your life be? I keep asking this question, people. How different would your life be if you didn't give up so many times? Your life would be vastly different, but you've just given up so many times. And that's what, it, that's, that's what is important for you to think about is how different would your life be if you just did not give up? Man, okay, it would be vastly different. Okay, how different would my life be in the future if I just decided to make a decision and to not give up on myself? And that's what I want you to think about. What are you going to do? And this is what I want to leave you with today is what are you going to do to make sure that next year is different for you? than it was this year, in the year before, in the year before, in the year before that. What are you going to do to make the year different? And that's what I want you to ponder on. That's the question I want you to write down. That's the question I want you to journal through. What am I going to change in myself? What am I going to change in my external circumstances, in my life, in my planning, in my goal setting to make sure that I do not give up on myself in 2023? So that's what I got for you for today's episode. And if you're out there and you're like, hey, I want to I want to make 2023 the best year of my, of my life, you can do it on your own if you want to, or you can do it with me and a bunch of other people. You guys know four out of five people end up giving up on the New Year's resolutions goals. So I have a 31-day challenge that starts January 1st. Uh, you have to sign up before January 1st. And so there's going to be seven simple but really, really powerful habits that we've got to hit every single day. So if your goal is to lose weight or to get into a, the relationship that you want to or to get a new job or to start a business or to get your money right, uh, it's designed to strengthen your, your mind, your body, your soul everything. And I'm going to be assisting you. I'm going to have daily live lessons. You can ask me questions in those daily live lessons. We're going to have guided meditations. We're going to have daily journaling questions. So if you're out there and you don't want to go through and have the exact same that you've always had and you want to join us, I would love to see you there. You know, you could go through and you could do it on your own if you want to, or you can do it with a group of hundreds and hundreds of people who are going to be going on the exact same path. So once again, uh, if you want to learn more about it, it is a 31 day challenge starting January 1st. It's the entire year of, or, I'm sorry, entire month of January. Uh, you can go to limitless31.com to learn more. Once again, limitless31.com. And uh, there's more information. There's a video there. And for those of you guys that sign up before Christmas, so if you listen to this before Christmas, you'll actually get $50 off for getting the early bird special. Um, but you want to make sure you sign up before Christmas. So once again, it is limitless31.com. 
We've done this with thousands and thousands of people, so I'm excited to do it with you this year. And uh, we're gonna have seven specific habits that you gotta have every single day to build habits into yourself. We have the, once I, like I said, the guided meditations, we have the daily journaling sessions, we have the daily live lessons I'm gonna be doing every single day with you guys. So uh, we'd love to see your faces there. Um, so if you're interested, join us. And with that, I'm gonna leave the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.